a cair de the Vor or Goch Aguir that Gavar Durnod Muya and a calendar Horeon Hebos. Durnod a varsity come rake. Sima Privasco Kai Dee than Crisawi Privasco, Abertawe Croisan all the Barker Arvai, a Croiso, a varsity come rake, do we will a direct tree. Chwarter Camry fy nôl fy na tîma rygbi prifysgolion a Bertawe a chair dydd gyfarfod ar Barcer Arfaid a fydd ddechrau ar y Varsity Gymreig sydd bellach wedi tyfu i fod y gystadleuaeth amol chwareion fwyaf i fyfyrwyr yn y deyrna unedig. Ac heb os y rygbi ydy'r i chafbwynt gyda ddim y dynion yn cyfarfod am y pumed tro ar hugain am y cyfle i gael eu coroni fe'n campwyr yn y frwydr rhyngolegol enfawr hon. Varsity just as a job for us, so if they can't get excited about Varsity, then they won't get excited about anything. Abertawe ennill oedd y synedd ar stadiumswansi.com o 18.13 er mwyn ad ennill y slws am y tro cyntaf ers 2016. Abertawe yn orfa fel eddys! Mae ddim gêm rili, rili galed ond, fingers crossed, ddim cyffroes i pobl edrych â teledu. Y trodwythau i'r ddau ddim gyfarfod yma yn y brif dinas fe gafodd yr ymwelwyr i chwalu gan gair dydd i wneud yn hatri cofydd i goleithau dros ddim a bethawe. Mae'n siarad yn fel 10,000 supporters mas na, ond bydd yn so cyffroes i'n ei chwarae yn y gyda sŵn a'n edrych am lan o fe. We've just got to focus on what we do and if we can play to our ability then hopefully the result will take care of itself. But let's just hope it's a great game for everyone watching. Y gem rygbi fawr rhwng Prifysgol Cair Dydd a Prifysgol Abertawe yn fyw o Barcer Arfaith sy'n gynnon ni ar eich cyferchu am y 5 metr tro o'r hugain yng Ngornes Varsity Cymru. Ond hon, ydy'n hael gem fyw i ni chi i chi heddiw o'r esbyddoreg yn gynharach. Dyma oedd hanes gem y menywod Cair Dydd yn mynd â hi o 46 pwynt i ddeuddag. Margaret Williams yn rhedeg yn wych yma'n hyn cyn dadlwytho i seren y gem Elena Hing i ddirio wythfed cais cair dydd o'r pnawn. Ia, eitha na Abertawe, ydy'r tîm mwyaf cwyddiannus yn hanes y Varsity Cymreig, ond cair dydd oedd yn fuddigol am dair blynedd o bron rhwng 2017 a 2019, cyn gohirio'r cystadlu oherwydd y pandemig. Ac er mae'r rygbi eitha ydy'r prif a syniad yn y Varsity, mae'n feddwyr cair dydd ac Abertawe wedi bod yn herio i gilydd drwy'r wythnos mewn amrywiaeth eang o dros ddeugain o gampau gwahanol gyda phob gem a phob canlyniad yn holl bwysig i benderfynu na cair dydd ydy'r prif ysgol sy wedi ennill tarian Varsity Cymreig 2000 a 23. Ia, croeso ato ni mae hi yn noson ac achlysu'r gwych. Dwi'n siŵr bod chi'n gallu clywad sŵn y dorf tu ôl i fi. Dyddgu hywel Jack Morgan a Siwan Lillicrap croeso'r tri yna chi. Siwan, mae'n ddwrnod gwych bob blwyddyn. Tro cynta'r farsyt i fod yn ôl yn y brif dinas ers y pandemig a mae di fod yn brawn da. Yn barod efo gem am yr chyn ynddo? Ie, mae di fod yn brawn wych ac clywed y crowd yma nawr. Ond dechrau efo efo'n un yn parc arfa gyda'r gem ferched brawn ma. Oedd yn gem ar benig o dda ar falle fod y sgôr ddim yn reflect o sut aeth y gem. Ond oedd cardydd yn rhy grif ond amryd tawer yn cael dwy cais heddi hefyd. Ie, a mae gen ni gem fawr arall ar y ffordd. Jack, Abertawe ydy'r ymwelwyr tro yma, ond y tîm yn athennill llynedd a ti'n nabod. Lot o chwrywyr, Abertawe? Ydw, fi'n aml cwpl o'r boeth. Fi'n bod wared yn ôl, trainod yn ôl dros y fynedd edrethau. So, ie, fi'n y cwpl o ffamilia faces ar y car neu eiddi da Abertawe. A pelig gweud yn llenwyr ddyn ddrethau. Fi'n siŵr bydd nhw'n ddau hederus a fi'n mewn i'r gem heddi. Ia, un yr un ydy hi ar hyn o bryd ydy'n gyn y gyngrair. Cair dydd dyn i llun, Abertawe dyn i llun. Pwy sy'n mynd i fynd â hi heddiw? Cair dydd eisiau eisiau tal i'r pwyth yn ôl am llynedd? Ie, mae Cair dydd wedi cael tymar gorau yn y bocs, Lenny. Felly, felly bod nhw'n ffyfro nhw, ond mae'n gysondeb yn y garfan, a mae'n endig tri o chwaraewyr Cair dydd wedi chwarae llynedd, felly mae'r cysondeb yna. Yn de yn wir. Reit, ddewch chi'n ei glywad gan capten y ddau dîm, Sam. Mae nhw wedi bod yn sgwrsio efo o ein gwynedd. Ie, mae'r tyn stiwn yn cynnydd yma yn y tŵnel ymharc yr arfa. Dwi'n lwc i ti gael cwmni capten Cair Dydd, Luke Pollock. Luke, you reached the semi-finals this year. Does that make you favourite? Does that tag sit, sit comfortably with you? Yeah, I mean, I think it's it's, it's comfortably with us, definitely. Um, 
I think playing a couple of extra games in them has helped as well. It gives us a bit more confidence coming into this. It's a long old stint between the end of the Bucks season and Varsity if you don't make playoffs. So yeah, we were chuffed to make the semi. It's the first time the uni have done it in uh, since 1990, I think. So yeah, we were chuffed. Heartbreak over the Liberty Stadium last year, losing it in this corresponding fixture. How much has that fueled you on for, for this season? Yeah, listen, a lot of boys played last year. That they're, they're in the squad this year, so we know what it's like um, to lose against Swansea. Um, so yeah, it's fueled us definitely, but we're not thinking too much about last year because it's a new team, new year. So yeah, yeah. You have the combinations yourself uh, in, in the centre. I think it's what seven or eight of you back uh, this year. Uh, how important is, are those combinations going to be? Yeah, I mean, yeah, really important. We've enjoyed playing together for um, since last year, most of the season, a lot of us. So yeah, we're getting to know each other well, and, and one big final blowout for us all now. Cheers, Luke. Go well, pub luck. Thank you very much. Cheers. Ben, you're in the belly of the stadium. The crowd have arrived. How are you feeling now? The nerves are starting to jangle. No, I think um, it's just another game of rugby at the end of the day. Obviously, massive, massive occasion for Swansea Uni. Uh, I was privileged enough playing it last year, uh, so the nerves aren't too bad this year, but uh, very excited. You've played each other twice in the league, won one, lost one. What have you boys taken out of that experience, and have you learned anything from them? Look, Cardiff are a decent side, and uh, we never underestimate them, especially in an occasion like this. Um, it'll be very exciting uh, coming in the 80 minutes now. Uh, is there a feeling that Cardiff may be favourites for this one? Have they gone to the semi-final or do you just ignore that and have you prepped well up over the last two weeks? Look, we ignore that and uh, we've had a much bigger prep. Uh, obviously, with them getting to the semi-finals, we've been lucky enough to add longer together. Um, but again, we don't underestimate them and we know they're a fierce side. If you're willing, tactically, how do you approach it? I couldn't possibly tell you that. Well, Ben, all the best today. Thank you very much. Yo. Ja, mae yna chlysur a hanner. Dim eisiau rhoi dim mor taktega i ffordd. Siwan, pwy sy'n mynd i fynd o hon? A fi'n credu mynd i fod yn gem agos iawn. Mae'n anodd i dweud ond fi'n credu Abertawe Just. Dim eisiau rhoi dim Abertawe Jack? Ti yn mynd i fynd i fod yn Abertawe hefyd gan bod chi'n chwarae'r gweld? Ie, fi'n mynd i gofod fi'n credu. Fi'n mynd i fod yn Abertawe. Dwi'n mynd i fod yn Abertawe lot o'r boys. Fi'n mynd i gofod bagor boys. Ti yn contag. Dydd giw, ti'n mynd i fynd am gair dydd? Ti'n meddwl Abertawe yn rhoi'r ffordd? Dwi'n mynd i fynd o'r tîm cartre a dweud gairdydd. Gawn ni weld. Os da chi'n gawn ni weld pwy fydd yn gywir ar ddiwedd y gem. Ond ia, da ni'n barod amdani. Mae dydd gyd Jack yn mynd i fynd i'r pwynt sylwebu i ymuno ac o ein gwynedd. What an occasion here. A full house at Cardiff Arms Park as this brilliant rugby rivalry continues. It's all smiles at the moment everywhere except the changing rooms as Swansea University go through their final preparations. But for Cardiff, there are plenty of recent internationals. Ben Chapman, the hooker, has been selected for England students to play France on May the 6th. Greg Ramage left Cardiff Uni to play for Hong Kong in their quest to qualify for the Rugby World Cup. And Gwilym Evans got his Wales under 20 his debut in the Six Nations. Ed Dumford's out with an MCL injury, so Cam Scott comes in at outside half, and Luke Pollock, who we just heard from, the Ulsterman, the ever-present captain at 13. If he ticks, then Cardiff University tick. It is as simple as that. This is a great team who've had a great season. Will they be able to finish it with a great win? For Swansea, they've got two Wales under-20 internationals in the front row as well in Garen Lloyd and Louis Fletcher. But perhaps the story is Max Marshall at loosehead prop who started last year in the fourth team but has earned the right to play Bucks Super Rugby and the Welsh Varsity. Penn Gregory captains the team from six. Leanne Morgan and Kean Abraham, Wales under 20 swingers, both flying machines. Morgan has got a sub 11 second 100 metre time. If he's in space on a fast surface like this, it could mean business for Swansea University. As for the substitutes, Ed Thompson was the first player in the Bucks Super Rugby era to reach 50 appearances. For Cardiff, Mikkel Davis is scrum half replacement in a 6-2 split. Harry Williams, 3 under 26 nations as a scrum half. He covers outside half for Swansea today. Lots of talent across both teams, but now let's hear from some players to watch. Kai Davis, who play a revoid in the best ball ever tower, but Arrow Rugby in Teddy Williams, and play Helga Rugby in the NXT Bar Team Gordon Dai Jones, Mewnor, Prifas Colcardi, Barar Ryu, Shane Williams, and we have guys from the uh, Cardamon High Fun.
one last time for both of these groups. For some of them, it's the final time they put on the jersey for Cardiff or Swansea University. Two proud rugby clubs who have really stamped their place on the landscape of Welsh rugby. In recent years, both have earned their place at the top table. And that top table is Buck Super Rugby. And they have given the top teams a fright. But Ben Gregory, the first out, the captain of this Swansea University team, gets a welcome from the green and white army in the stands either side of the tunnel. One win and one defeat for both of these teams in Buck Super Rugby this year. But now Luke Pollock, his final appearance in a Cardiff University jersey. An outside centre, former Ulster Academy. He leads a team full of talent, Greg Ramage there. He comes out wearing number six. His brother Marcus, former captain of Cardiff University, scored in last year's varsity. This is such a great contest. Recent history, Cardiff won three in a row pre-COVID. But most recently it was Swansea. Craig Evans in charge of this one as well. A top referee for a top fixture and top company as well, Shuan Lillycrab. It is hotting up nicely down there. It is, isn't it? The atmosphere is really building and uh, a ram-packed oh, Cardiff oh, Arms oh, Park with a rivalry fixture, Swansea versus Cardiff in the Welsh varsity. This is going to be a spicy uh, Welsh varsity this year, Dave. Well, you're a former director of rugby at Swansea University. You've overseen these fixtures. You've overseen Swansea reach their place at the top table a similar time to Cardiff did. Exactly how much does this rivalry mean and exactly how much does the whole institution look forward to these games? Oh, it, it's massive. It's huge. Bigger than you probably can, can imagine. It's massive rivalry. Um, you know, they battled it in the Premiership years ago to reach that top level of Bucks Super Rugby. Both promoted similar times um, and battle it out now year upon year. But, you know, the, the whole season... And one eye is always on varsity because what it means to have all their peers here watching them, supporting them. And this is the one that everyone remembers at the end of the year. So it's a huge occasion and an outstanding opportunity for these young men to go and express Keep themselves wearing out. their jerseys. And here we are. The stands are packed at okay, Cardiff Arms on. Park. George Stevens will get us underway. And the Welsh varsity is alive and kicking. Cardiff in the red, Swansea in the green, white and grey stripes. And a nice clean exit for Cardiff to begin with. That'll settle a few nerves and we'll have a first look at the set piece. Yeah, that was a, a, a nice exit by, by Cardiff. Now straight in there, less than a minute played, straight into line-out time and uh, see how the nerves are in, in, uh, in this pressured situation now. Well, Garin Lloyd throwing in features in this varsity, also played in both of the league games this season. There's a Wales under 20 a couple of Six Nations ago, and he tucks his head in as Swansea look to impose themselves. Davland, another Wales age group player, goes up the short side and brings Clean Morgan into play. He scored a couple of tries for Wales oh. under 20s against Ireland, and when he's in space, watch out, he makes things happen. That's Ben Roberts for Cardiff with the Ospreys Extended Academy. Use your nine! Stay! A little foot Use. in both camps, Swansea and Cardiff, <laughs> and Di Jones, who's made a massive impact off the bench a lot of this season, but is given the nod at starting scrum half today. Kai Davis loves to get a carry, and George Stevens, first touch for him, good footwork from Yuan Johns. Rugby family, of course, Sister Manon, top player with Bristol Bears. 90 seconds in, both teams getting a touch on the ball, and George Stevens goes skywards. That's one for Ridian Williams to challenge for, but it's a knock on. And Garin Lloyd picks it up for Swansea. Dav Land and Brad Roderick back in field. Some big bodies in midfield for Swansea, and Ewan and Brad, and lovely work from Dav Land. Oh, but then just coughs up the offload. 
But a little spark from Davland, and I think we'll see plenty of that this evening. Yeah, definitely. Davland's got plenty of experience, but an elusive player, an outstanding player at that. I was just speaking to actually Jack Morgan about him earlier. I was unlucky not to get to a high, higher level, but you know, he's a great attacking threat. His delivery of the ball is outstanding. Um, so I'm sure he'll be a dominant force tonight for Swansea, really controlling the game from that half-back position. Rory Case on kicking duty, starting at 15 today. Started at 13 last year, usually plays there, but he's big and physical. And with Cardiff's kicking game, I'll be hoping he gets plenty of time on the ball. And it is the Swansea supporters who find their voices first. Massive moment for them. Garin Lloyd with the line out inside the 22. It's uncontested. And again, they go to the mall. Watch Lloyd there at the back as it continues to creep forward. Three minutes gone and Greg Ramage has to take his place at the back. Dav Land has a little snipe himself. Still going on the offload as well. It's scrappy but it's still with Swansea. Willem Evans sniffing oh, around but can't force that turnover. And a good collision by Cardiff. A collision that they win. Oh, red. Fletcher a good engine for a tight head covers one two and three in the front row and he's one of the fitness leaders too so expect lots of minutes from the Swansea tight head today now lands coming back across the grain is Brad Roderick but he's locked that ball on and Adam Williams another with Wales under 20s experience he played in the Six Nations in 2022 a lot of these boys playing varsity playing Buck Super Rugby Hold it, seven, hold managed it. to get themselves international colours as well. Use the nine. Ty Jones puts that one off the pitch and another clean exit. Yeah, another another clean exit. A lot of physicality going on there. A lot of. Uh, I think boys want them to stamp their authority on the game and get big carries in, in, in to begin where we haven't seen the ball move much yet. Uh, but, you know, I think everyone is up for this game and uh, third line out already in, in less than five minutes for Swansea. And it's another clean one. Garen Lloyd's darts good. Adam Williams' awareness leave good. Fred, leave. And leave. he stamps out the threat for now. Davland finds Ben Gregory, the captain in the blue scrum cap. Willem Evans there around the contact zone again whipped out the back and then over the top Ian Morgan tries to go around the outside but Ridian oh, Williams that's... starting in his second consecutive varsity is wise to it second ball leave it's Peter Vickers there easy to spot with that mullet <laughs> not sure if he cuts it himself but I hope he didn't pay leave. for it he hasn't rolled he hasn't rolled it's a pretty spectacular mullet that Depends on your definition, a spectacular really, but uh, we are where we are. Ridian Williams oh, red, red, stop. gets plenty of that. Swansea boys back. Oh, stop, stop. That's Di Jones underneath it, tough one to take, but does well, Jones, and then gets Luke Pollock on the ball. Maisie run and a good offload from Pollock. Luke Bray chipping behind, but Stevens is there, and Stevens. Big hit. Gets hit well by Luke Bray. Great chase from Cardiff. Great hit there. Really oh, dominant on, on, on George Stevens. But a um, bit of a loose kick there by Swansea. Fell down the middle of the field, allowing Cardiff to counter attack when they've got threatening players across the park. So yeah, I don't I don't suspect that is part of Swansea's game plan in, in, in loose kick into their attacking threats. Here's Ben Chapman. He's had an excellent season. He's been selected for England students only two boys from Welsh universities have and he's also represented Cardiff RFC in the Welsh Prem this year very excited to see where rugby takes him really hope a, a club takes a chance on him and he gets to show what he can offer and here he is Please on the ball there away. Chapman <laughs> well he was warned Kai Davis now before they make the choice what are you going for here post or corner 
I'd I'd be going for post here if it if it's kickable. You know, it, it is going to be a tight game. It's going to be a tight 80 minutes of rugby. Um, both sides pretty evenly matched, one apiece this season. It's always a, a tough battle, but they've been brave and they've gone for the corner. Well, Cardiff have played 20 games in Buck Super Rugby this season. 13 of them have been decided by one converted score or less. They know how to get in an arm wrestle, that's for sure. Three have been decided by one point, four by two, two by three, one by four. And they've got a draw in there as well against Leeds Beckett. So if we get that kind of drama tonight, yeah. then it's going to be a brilliant night here at Cardiff Arms Park. Now, Ben Chapman with the ball. Cardiff's first venture into the Swansea 22. Chapman at the back. and It's a little bit scrappy, but it's still moving forward here for Cardiff. Whatever they're doing, keep it up, keep it's it up, working. Boy. Eight minutes gone, still going forward. Same Craig ball, Evans happy ball. with it. Di Jones now with his hands on the ball. Oh, across the line goes Luke Pollock. But he's knocked it on. It was a great angle from Pollock. But the butterfingered severity of the occasion got to him, and it remains nil-nil. What a line. Oh, what a line. How did he finish that though? Must have been a big scramble defence from Swansea then. You know, that must have been fingertip stuff in making sure he didn't get that over the line. But uh, two Cardiff players then coming hard at that at Swansea line. Well, let's take a look at this line now. It was the ball from Ty Jones and oh goodness me. Nice ball, nice ball. Yeah, get a good look at this now. He's dived for the line, he's reached, he's stretched, and it is brilliant defensive work. Is that Will Barraclough, yeah. Swansea's number seven? That's great tactical awareness there to get his feet in, in that way to stop, uh, which would have been a great try from a great angle. So that's credit to <laughs> Swansea's number seven, Will Barraclough, for there stopping that. They thought it was a guaranteed try. Ty Jones whips that across the front again. The centre's linking up and Pollock showing good hands. Decent quick ruck speed here, but Ty Jones has to clean up. Ian Abraham a little bit high there more WWE than Welsh varsity and then the forward pass stops Greg Ramage rampaging towards the line yeah, that was just forward was it for another great line yeah Cardiff seem to have attack attacking threats flying from everywhere at the moment moving that ball shifting that point of contact and it's the experienced players, isn't it? It's Luke Pollock, it's Greg Ramage hitting those really good lines. Yeah. Yeah, it is the experienced players. You know, that's what you get in a fixture like this. You've got a, a mixture of experience and, and inexperience. Some younger players in the uh, earlier years of the university, but also some players that have been there for some time as well. Well, speaking of, we've just seen a, a shot of Hugh Sutton there, former Swansea University, of course, now having a great season with the Ospreys he's really broken through and played some good rugby this year in a strong stable of locks as well as Chapman oh, hits double top but then Cardiff gets somebody in front of the man who's bringing the ball to ground and that's a let off for Swansea yeah that is, that is a let off and they'll be thankful to relieve a little bit of pressure here now uh, you don't want to spend too much time in, in, your, twen in your 22 so they'll be glad to get out and, and, and reset a little bit but you know, that's maybe a bit of a gift for Swansea there to, to be able to get out but of course you're a neutral this evening, it was a lovely seed from uh, from Chapman, you're a neutral this evening but yeah. you are a former DOR at Swansea so to see players like Hugh Sutton who coached the Hi. freshers alongside Max Nagy kick on in the pro game must put a big smile on your face oh yeah absolutely, you know those guys were instrumental in our, in our success at Swansea University when, when I was there but you know, not only good rugby players, great people, and that's, that's, that is the difference in our game these days. They're very good people and uh, give a lot back to the Jersey year at Swans University as well. And long may it continue. Here's Luke Pollock attacking the 22. Lee, Lee. Oh, pulled off it, but Brad Roderick very close to the turnover. Theo Pavekwa on the books with Cardiff. He'll feel at home here at the Arms Park. Flat. Now Ridian Williams. Brought down by Roderick. A few important tackles from the Swansea outside centre. Bavekwa again. 
throws that dummy that I don't think anyone's buying because you know that he's taking it into the contact zone. There's Phillips. Again, quick ball back the other way. Pollock can't quite get those hands clean for Quillen Evans, who is there waiting for the offload. But a good spell this for Cardiff. Good two or three minutes of territory as Cam Scott blocks it on and then Cardiff kick it clear. Oh, and there's only going to be one winner of the foot race for Cleon Morgan. And just about the only thing that could have beaten him was the touchline. Yeah, that was a uh, turnover for Swansea there. I think it was Davland that put foot to, uh, his foot to ball. Not a bad kick, but was it on to move that ball into space? Oh. Because it was just from a turnover. Cardiff weren't set to defend. So, you know, I'd say... There, do we need to? Does Swansea need to move the ball rather than put that kick? You'd see the Cardiff um, attack was obviously offset, so that transition to D can be tough, and that's when you want to move the ball into space. To apologise, it was uh, Kean Abraham who'd stepped on the gas over there. But as we've mentioned, two very, very quick wingers in white, green, and grey today. Still nil nil, both teams with opportunities, and that's a great rip from Louis Fletcher. Land, little tip on, trying to get the back rowers into play, now George Stevens and fumbled by Roderick, just snatching at that, oh, sorry, Johns, he's had a fresh fade for the cameras, isn't he, Ewan Johns? Always a fresh fade, I think, Ewan has got... Unfortunate that because it was on for Swansea there. First run, boys. Yeah. yeah, just didn't quite go to hand or, or uh, not got our time. Swansea not got their timings right there. Crouch! Fines! Set! Great to see supporters with smiles on their faces. But it's nil nil here, and I wonder at what point were those boys, smiles. Boys turn to Both nerves because on stability on set. it has been a nervy start both teams with journeys into the 22 both with penalties that were potentially kickable but they've gone for the corner yeah definitely i think um, at the moment i don't know whether the crowd's a little bit quiet because they're feeling feeling yes. that nerves and apprehension as well i'm sure as soon as one side gets over that right. whitewash the, the stadium will erupt and we'll have a lot more noise but yeah a little bit of nerves, few mistakes from both sides at the moment, not taking points, going going for the the try and going for the corner for the line outs, but execution hasn't quite been there from both sides. So definitely taking their time to settle into this fixture this evening. Well a few boys deciding that it's a formal occasion and quite right too. Yeah, I wonder who those boys in uh, suits and ties are. <laughs> Wonder if well, the official the supporters record. crew are the CURFC Rangers. Right. <laughs> who are on best behaviour, I'm sure. Yeah, of course. There's some people having some good times today, Dave, that's for sure. Hey, as they should. It's an occasion to be celebrated. So Chapman drills that one in, and they go up the short side here. Cardiff and a nice offload as well. Good handling between the big forwards and then George Shaw Ireland under 19s last season just missed out on the Six Nations team that ended up winning a very impressive Grand Slam including a victory against Wales at Colwyn Bay that was a good contest Ethan Phillips on the tip on oh, Swansea just called off it there after thinking that they were going to get something and then Cam Scott throws the dummy and get into the 22 again. They've had really good ruck speed of Cardiff, and that's a nice kick from Di Jones. But again, the touchline is the victor. Yeah, it's a good option from Di Jones. Change it up a little bit, pull that, pull that rubber through, get their wingers in, into the game, but maybe a little bit too much on it. But Swansea under pressure here, you know, they're, they're five metres out from their line, they've got to execute, they've got to exit from here, so it's not a bad position for Cardiff to be in. And the line out spin so far so good for Garin Lloyd and just like that seemed like a good ball but a little fumble and real pressure here for Swansea bearing in mind Cardiff won a penalty at scrum time further up the field 
Yeah, definitely. And you know, that's what that grub has done. It's forced Swansea to, to execute a line out in a pressured zone. And then we, we see a fumble on the ball and off gone. Now we've got a Cardiff scrum. And as you said, penalty at scrum time for Cardiff recently. So, you know, it's Swansea under the cosh a little bit in this area, but I'm sure they'll be put it, wanting to put it right. George Shaw at number eight. Just talked about his international credentials, but he's actually played a lot of his rugby at lock forward this year. Five. Came off the bench and covered Set. lock in this fixture Stay here. last season. And then it comes from Di Jones. Watch out for Shaw. He's looking to get his hands on it, but the scrum's going forward. But this time, it's a Swansea penalty. And that is a massive win under pressure for the Swans. Yeah, huge win under pressure. I think uh, the referee, Craig Evans, there has said Cardiff were, were walking around uh, that scrum. So Swansea will be exceptionally pleased with that outcome. But you can't walk around in a scrum. You've got to stay square. You've got to push. You can't just step around. So, you know, Cardiff maybe knew what they were doing there, trying to bring Swansea around so they could uh, attack that area. It's a tough place to defend from a scrum in that position also. In a good spot, Craig Evans, fantastic referee as well. He's had a great season refereeing the URC and being involved with the international game too. But also, how great that a fixture like this can draw a referee like that. Yeah, absolutely. You know, Craig's a quality ref and it just shows as well how big this fixture is that a referee like Craig is in, in the middle tonight calling the shots from a from a, a fair perspective and is really good at, at, at what he does you know so it's outstanding to see such a person of such experience and quality in the middle tonight Garen Lloyd finds his man this time as we approach the quarter way point we'll be going pitch side shortly I think to hear from Alan Flowers who is not a man I'd like to play poker against. I think he'd take all my money. It's, that's a really good take in the air and a good contest as well. Yeah, but he's done a great job here with Cardiff University. Use it! Who, given the resources they have compared to a lot of other universities at this level, I think punch above their weight. Yeah, absolutely. a great season with a great group. And hopefully they'll continue to grow along with Swansea and Cardiff Met, the three universities in Buck Super Rugby, playing at the top level. Roll! You're pinning him. Yeah, absolutely. You know, three Welsh universities yes. in the top level. Do it, do it, do him well. Mm. Um, as you say, maybe not so much resources so, some others universities, but definitely punch above their weight and have got a lot of heart and passion in these Welsh sides. And just showing how competitive that little Welsh mini league is there. That's a really good take from Felix Gilbert. So Cardiff University, Swansea and Cardiff Met. They've all won two and lost two against each other this year they've beaten each other at home and away yeah. so even though the the league Back position the hasn't been great for, for Swansea the this year they've grown into the season they've taken some good scalps and they've done particularly well against the home sides yeah definitely there is definite rivalry within those Welsh sides within that within that league and uh, feels like a derby day every week when they play each other but well, with that I think Heleth is pitch side with Alan Flowers and do hear my Alan Flowers play for further Cardi than a minute ever be run. Alan, your assessment of the first half? What, we're nearly halfway through the first half and it's still nil-nil, but what's your assessment? Yeah, sorry, it's difficult to hear you, but um, yeah, it's been a good start for both sides. We uh, soaked up a little bit of pressure early, and we've managed to get a little bit of continuity on the game, but we've got to make the most of these chances, I think, when they come at the moment. Yeah, you mentioned the noise there. It's a good atmosphere. How, how are these boys feeling playing in front of this massive crowd? Yeah, it's a fantastic atmosphere. A great occasion for all students, isn't it? But yeah, it's Excited. They're looking forward to it and hopefully just going to enjoy the experience. Oh, well, thanks for your time, Dirk You're welcome, Dirk Vaur. Twenty-one minutes gone. Alan Flowers talking about taking those opportunities, and Luke Pollock had a brilliant one, but it was incredibly defended. And as such, the deadlock remains intact. Cardiff nil, Swansea nil. Di Jones, Cam Scott. Ramage out of the back to Ridian Williams across now to Felix Gilbert and now a little bit of width Luke Bray takes them to within 10 metres an advantage coming to Ramage another good carry from him Chapman in behind Di Jones thinks about having a dart but instead Swansea need to have their wits about them here 
Two penalties in a row. And we need to be careful here because they don't want to concede any tries. They don't want to get down to 14 either. Yeah, absolutely. Pen count for Swansea has probably been higher than they would have liked at, at this point, especially in this zone. They've given a few away in, in, in this red zone in, in, in their 22. So yeah, I'm sure they'll be looking Ten. at uh, to try and be a bit more squeaky clean, as you say. They don't want to concede a try, but also they definitely don't want to go down to 14 players. Cardiff on the press again. And when they've got ball in hand, actually, Cardiff looking like a good attacking threat at the moment yeah, with danger, danger there. men everywhere, with people like Ramage always getting his hands on the ball again over the game line so Cardiff looking to be a bit more dominant in attack at the moment I would say slightly sliced kick there from Cam Scott so Cardiff eight or nine meters out as opposed to five meters out but Ben Chapman finds his man they go for the early peel and take it to ground it was Gwillem Steph, Evans Steph. up the short side Steph, boys. and then Adam Williams Die Jones finds Ethan Phillips. Phillips gets over the game line. Jones Please. again. Sometimes likes to snipe from here, but instead he's going to find Chapman. Chapman chopped by Davland. Ben Roberts once, but they go across the face. The bouncing ball sometimes causes chaos, but Swansea turn it over. Rory Case and Felix Gilbert, but Cian Morgan was on it. And now it's up to Joe Greaves and Co. Use to it. try and calm things down another great opportunity passes Cardiff by Ritian Williams straight onto the shoulder of Stevens. Oh, and he loses that contact Case and Stevens with a big collision and Bavekwa Di Jones hold, seven, seven, hold, hold, hold. Jamie Hoyes and bounces up to Rory Case. He was looking for the 50 22. And then Case wobbles that one into touch. Yeah, another you know, escape from Swansea there in, in the 22 with that, that rubber from Cardiff. Well read by Swansea, well reacted to, to, to get rid of that ball. I almost feel like Cardiff are a little bit afraid to go to their driving mall at the moment. They went twice now back down that, that blind side since the first driving mall they tried to do. They got pinged for obstruction with the lifters coming across. So, you know, it'll be interesting to see how, how they chop and change that and, and not be afraid to go back to certain set pieces that they've obviously practiced. Ethan Phillips off the top, they go again. And Cam Scott, big miss pass to Hoyes. Who, and when they hit the line, they hit it hard and they could have some numbers here. And Luke Bray sticks hold yeah, instead. The counter's good from Swansea. And it's been turned over. Brilliant work by Will Barraclough. Just would not give up on that. And then Louis Fletcher in at first receiver. Dished a bit of a hospital pass there. I'm not sure he'd have been too thankful for that. Oh, that's another great collision, this time from Ben Chapman. Vickers. Evans might have to roll away here. This time it's Swansea who kick it away. Pollock's underneath it. Luke Pollock to get him going off. It's a risky pass, but it has found some space. One more pass from Hoyes. Luke Bray up the right hand side. And then he knocks the ball on. Knock on advantage here. The ball's in play for a long time, and this is going to be taking its toll on the lungs on this fast surface. Lovely offload. And oh, you and Johns hitting the line. It's there, boys. Stevens waits. Stevens gets up. Tried to whip one across, but it was well read by Chapman, who gets the offload away. And Evans galloping into space. Doesn't have the gas on Morgan and can't stay in field. Oh, great recovery and a bit of afters from Ben Gregory as well. But lovely awareness from Chapman and Evans on the support line. Swansea needing their wits about them. Yeah, definitely a great read there. Really good read to get to get there in that in that passing cha channel by by Chapman and yeah Cardiff almost away then but great defence by Swansea to to cover that off. You've got to be so quick to get up that flank when you've got Finn Morgan chasing you down. Good line out for there because.
I'm sure they mean it with all the love in the world. Apparently he's an Excel spreadsheet, but he sends the points every week. Yeah, yeah I can imagine that. In a, in a nice way, I'm sure they, they call him a line-out rose. But such an important part of the game, and it's been ticking well for Swansea in the game so far. Still nil-nil, doesn't feel like a nil-nil though. With Jim Williams. A chase, and he's swallowed up. Ramage with a good carry. Ty Jones looking for the wraparound. Step, step, thank you. And then George Shaw in the scrum half. Roberts up to the 10 meter line. Chapman tips that one on. Pollock. Release. Oh, looking for the offload but can't quite get there. Jones. Flat pass to Shaw. There's Willem Evans in it first receive a lovely line by Ben Roberts gallops into space Love to see a lock forward in full flow But again Swansea have managed to turn that ball over and then Cardiff win the penalty Felix Gilbert the fullback over it like a barnacle on a boat And a great chance for Cardiff now yeah, another opportunity for Cardiff, but what a tip that was, and a, and, a, and a great line. The Swansea scrambled back, a uh, bit messy. Swansea getting quite a bit of reward from a counter-ruck, actually, in this game, but um, holding on then after the turnover, and Cardiff get back possession. Well, they've gone for the corner again. They're playing with a little breeze in this first half. Will they go for the driving wall this time? Lovely dart again from Chapman. And this time they do go for the mall, and it's moving forward. Ben Chapman there at the back, and now Ramage adds his weight as well. Alarm bells ringing again for Swansea. Ramage has it at the back. Di Jones adds his weight, and then Ridian Williams too, towards the line, over the line, and the deadlock is broken. Finally, the pressure tells for Cardiff University. They go to them all, they trust them all, and they get the first five points of the Welsh varsity. Yeah, it's great execution there and great patience by, by Cardiff. You know, they've been to uh, line-outs about four times now in, in, in their 22, and now they've got their reward. But look at the patience here. All boys staying in, all extra weight. Uh, uh, added to that line-out. You can see there the nine and the winger. So you can see Di Jones joining there, adding that extra bit of weight and power and really made the difference for, for Cardiff getting over the line and a well-deserved try there by Cardiff. But Greg Ramage with the try. His brother Marcus scored last year. Flying winger in the corner. That was a bit more crude, but equally as important, Cam Scott adds the extra. It's a great strike. Yeah, it's back to the Swansea fans. Who were trying to boo it wide. But Cam Scott makes it 7 0. Excellent try from Ramage. And I think when we see the replay, Ty Jones, the scrum half, when he joins, it starts to move forward. Yeah, it did. Ty Jones, I think it was, and, and Richard Williams, I think, was the other pack that, that joined them all. But it made a difference, you know. And don't we call Kumni Keris Aseren or at the Prima School Abertawe? Merched Betahi need my head, I should have won a head back and I'm more a question. I need my half time. I see my to Yeah, good. Couple of injuries on my mum and yawn and pubs as well. Karim Langer of Academy. And I think he needs a game of Merched David. In our group, I'm a team. I didn't. I'm a Beckham. 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 Yeah, I guess we're going to have a lot of equity and wedding cover it even high at all performing. Do you have a lot of time, sir, Gerald? Do you have? Swansea Sirens there. Themselves said the Cardiff Snake Charmers will be performing at half-time. It's all going off at the Arms Park. Yeah. Big occasion. Wonder if Everyone comes out. I wonder if their rivalry is the same as the rugby teams. I think there is a fair bit of rivalry there, you know. I think both crowds will be getting behind both sets of cheerleaders, their own representative cheerleading group at, at half-time, and 
which crowd will be the loudest will be uh, the competition, I think. Change being made for Cardiff. That was Ben Roberts coming off. That's been knocked on. And then Alex Ashton coming on. He's moving to the Ospreys Transition Academy next season. And that is tough for Ben Roberts. Kai Davis there. He is very, very important to Swansea's going forward, Kai Davis. Rather large human as well. Yeah, yeah, he is. But you know what? At the moment, he's looking pretty lean. He looks like he's been working hard. You know, just over a year ago, he was out, out with injury for, for a spell. And yeah, he's a physical player, a big ball carrier for Swansea. And he loves having his hands on the ball and being amongst it all, you know? I remember his first game back after that long hamstring injury against Cardiff Met in the rain at King Floyd. And he put in one of the biggest tackles that I've ever seen. Oh, Cardiff looking to spread it early, but it's a forward pass, and that is a big mistake in that part of the pitch. Yeah, definitely, there was space out there, you know, the, the intent was right there from Cardiff, but Craig Evans was in a spot-on position, and you can see that was absolutely forward. Uh, so Swansea have another attacking opportunity now in, in Cardiff's 22. Tweed jacket salesmen have done well this week as well, haven't they? Yeah, they must definitely have, <laughs> and hats. Yes. Still waiting to see you in one. I'm sure the moment will come. Now, Dabland. Ball tucked in that left hand. And finally, some field position for Swansea. Great chance for a first phase play as George Stevens waits. Stevens at 10 today. Started at fullback in last year's varsity. And here he is with his hands on the ball. Short ball to Yuan Johns, who gets stood up well by Luke Pollock. Good first up tackle from the Cardiff centre. Barraclough, oh, great carry from Barraclough against Ridian Williams. Takes him a couple of metres closer. Here is the number eight, Kai Davis. Willem Evans on that ball. Has to be called off it though, and Lily Fletcher. And Davland. Swansea, don't want to get too isolated here. Still on the ball now, the crowd find their voices. Joe Greaves on the scrum half and another big bump from Kai Davis. Slow down a little bit here for Swansea. They're going to have to do it the hard way and the crude way and Levy Fletcher will keep things going. Desperate for some quick ball here and that oh, pass has been knocked on by Brad Roderick. That'll be a frustrating one. Dai Jones finds Bavekwa. Just over five minutes to go into half time. The danger not quite extinguished, but they'll be much happier with their hands on the ball here. Chapman. Use the nine. Dai Jones putting those long studs it. on it. Leave it. I think this will go off the pitch. Excellent kick from Jones. Yeah, great box kick by, by Jones there. Patient and a, a great execution of that. You know, gone 30 metres up the field. Great pinpoint accuracy there. He looks like a Premiership, an Indigo Premiership scrum half to me, Ty Jones. I just think he can make a difference for a club next season. Yeah, he does, doesn't he? Yeah. He does. He's, he's physical, he's strong around the trunk, good delivery, good composure. I think he'd be a good asset for a team. Yeah, definitely. You know, he's involved in Scarlet's Academy in his younger younger ages. He's got a, a lot of experience and is, is a good player, but um, can control the game exceptionally well as well. Speaking of Indigo Premiership, Kai Davis has played a lot for Swansea, of course. He was hitting the game line hard again there as Swansea go up the short side. Harry Williams has come on for Swansea. We're in number 22. Three under 26 nations he's featured in as part of the Scarlets as well. But traditionally, a scrum half. So this is a, a rogue selection from Hugh Gustafsson. Yeah. Where's he come on? As a half-back, as 10. Yeah, because they've got Dan Roderick covering scrum half as well. Yeah. And he's walking into the midfield there with that uh, yeah. unmistakable ponytail. 
scored yeah, a fabulous like try to effectively win the game last year. Yeah, he did. He did. He's a great quality player, Harry. As he can set the game alight. Uh, you know, his, 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 his pace off the mark and he's up right. in the in the mix, a mix of everything. Um, but yeah, interesting. George Stevens must have gone off, and yeah. he's gone to fly half. It's a free kick for Swansea. Yeah, George Stevens is off. Uh, the scrum hat is missing. But he's disappeared as well, so I'm not sure if this is uh, an HIA, but Ben Roberts for Cardiff, number five, he's returned to the field. They're going to hit and hold when you not start fading off. I don't want to sound like the oldest man in Cardiff, but I don't see nearly enough coats, and it's getting a bit chilly, you know? <laughs> showing your age. Yeah, yeah I am. You're I showing am. your age, Steve. No, I absolutely agree. <laughs> Now, um, like these days, am I going to be warm enough? Is one of the first decisions I, I make when I when I leave the house. But when I was in their shoes, yes, a long time ago now, I probably would have been out in just a t-shirt as well. Here is Williams, first touch for him, and looks at that little dink over the top. Rory Case gives chase, but it's a great take and a mark for Rory Case still leaving one on him. There's a great uh, cover, cover then by. Uh, the Cardiff fullback Felix Gilbert did really well to, to read that and get under it and call the mark. So Jack Morgan is doing the Welsh language commentary next to us, and I look at Felix Gilbert there, and I had to check if Jack was still stood there. <laughs> There's more than a striking resemblance, isn't there? Yeah, you are right. You are right. Whisper it. <laughs> Felix has got better ears. <laughs> couple of minutes to go until half time Swansea yet to get off the mark but Darren Lloyd brings his man again and Swansea go up the top Harry Williams lovely flat ball and then Brad Roderick coughs it up oh, and Ben Chapman putting a toe on it in opportunity to see this half out defenses have been on top but I'm sure you'll agree wherever you're watching that this has been a fantastic contest it just feels like it is on the cusp of coming alive but Dai Jones who has been very steady at scrum half for Cardiff particularly with his exit and his kicking game. This way. And here he is finding Cam Scott. Scott finds Pollock, a rare mistake oh, from him. Backwards, backwards. Craig Evans gets the nod from the AR that it's gone backwards. Yes. And we're into the last minute. Ramage, oh, the try scorer. Please. Get four farms off. And Cardiff losing metres here, but they won't be too concerned because they could see the half out with these phases or they might want some more lovely line from Evans oh, through the legs from Chapman lovely stuff now some space for Ridian Williams he puts it on the toe Gregory's chasing back so's Rory Case he gets there first Williams with the chase with the tackle and Chapman looking for the counter ruck don't pull him in but Swansea know that the clock's in the red decide that they don't want to clear they don't want to go for it they want to go into the sheds and take a breather because there's just one score in this a fascinating first half far more exciting than the score line would suggest but one try one conversion it's Cardiff 7, Swansea 0 and let's hear from Helen pitch side yeah, do you have a Ivan Hinder, a captain, Kyrie, Luke, Pollock. Luke, uh, your assessment of that first half took a while to settle. Yeah, definitely all nerves uh, to be expected with a big crowd, but yeah, good fun. Yeah, and how did the rest of the half go in your opinion, and what do you need to do in the second half? Yeah, we probably should have more points on the board than we do, uh, but we put a lot of pressure on them. So yeah, lots to talk about half time. What do you think the coaches will say? Yeah, I think they'll be happy enough. We're trying to play, which is which is what we went into the game trying to do. So yeah. I'll let you go, Dioch. Thank you. Thank you very much.
Ia, ma hi yn y swllyd o fnadwy yma, ond mae siw anol i crap a dydd ci hywel. Wedi llwyddo i frwydro trwy'r dorf a dod yn ôl lawr i ochr y stiwdio. Mae'n hyn eich ymateb chi i'ch dwy i'r hanner cyntaf na ta. Doedd i ddim fel gem y merched yn fôr o geisio, ond siw anol fe'n esdi i'r hanner cyntaf na? Ie, yn hanner gyntaf fi'n cynnig bach o'n nyrs yn y dechrau, ond oedd cael dydd wedi bod yn y mos yn dda iawn, ond mae wedi rhoi pwysau arbennig ar ar y tawau wedi dod dros y llinell un waith, ond falle gallwn nhw fynd dros y mwyn un waith, ond ymddiffyn ar y tawau wedi bod yn dda iawn, ond dim wedi cymryd y manteis o beth o gwrdd bêl maen nhw wedi cael. Ia, dydd chi ar y tawau yn aml yn rhwys redig, di'n newid i maswr nhw jyst cyn yr egwyl. Mae hwnna'n dangos faint maen nhw eisiau dod yn ôl fewn i'r gemau, a faint maen nhw eisiau bethau newid. Ydy yma na bwysau nhw nhw a fel chwaraewr ti ddim eisiau dod ffwrdd o'r cae cyn hann yr amser, ond maen nhw wedi gyda'i newidiadau a dwi'n meddwl mae rhai nhw rhoi perfformiad yn yr ail hanner ma achos mae'r sgôr yn isel iawn dwi'n gwybod i fy nhw fwy o geisiau. Ia, y bendant yn yr ail hanner, ond cofiwch honno di'n ail gem ni ond pnawn. Mae ni wedi cael un gem yn barod heddiw, sef gem y merched, dywch yn ei gael gip olwg sydyn ar hanes y gem honno. Cair dydd a tha hi, y sgôr terfynol 46 i ddeudag, ond dyma cais gwych gan yr asgellwr Nif Roberts yn rhedeg o'r hanner i hun o'r holl ffordd i'r linell gais. Ond mi oedd yr asgellwyr y ddwy asgellwyr yn brysur heddiw, dyma i chi Carolina Thomas hefyd yn wneud union rhyw'n peth a Nif Roberts yn rhedeg o'i hanner i hun yr holl ffordd i'r linell gais. Mi oedd y ddwy yn nhw yn brysur iawn heddiw. Rwy'n arall oedd yn brysur, oedd y canolwr a seren y gem, Elyn y hing, a dyma i chais hi, a chais i orffen y gem. O, chais marged wyth, Carolina Thomas yna, mae'n ddrwg yn ni. A mae'r modd y geisio yn y gem, na ni'n weithi cael dyfyn ni. Caer dydd yn mynd â hi yn y gem, cyntaf o'r pnawn. Ia, mi yna lwyd y geisio yn y gem yna. Dim rhywbeth bod fi'n cael hwnna'n anghywir. O'n honna'n gem wych, siwan, a mae'n grêt i gem y merched hefyd bod y ddwy gem yn digwydd yn yr un yn stadiwm ar yr un diwrnod. Ie, mae fel dan y fe fod i fod yn holl lones, ond mae wych i cael y merched yn chwarae yn cadbar arw fe fan un. Mae'n gartref i tîm Cymru mynd i fod hefyd, so i nhw cael y... I performio o'r ffyrdd heddi yn wych, ac yn hefyd oedd y crowd yn wedi adeiladu trwy gydol y gêm, so mae'n cyfle arbennig o ddau i nhw fel chwaraewyr. A gêm dda, ond falle fod y sgôr ddim yn y reflector sydd ar y gêm, ond cael dydd yn domyn yn diawn i yn rygbi fy niwod. Ia, a dyna be oedd Tyrion Thomas, captain a bertawau, yn deud ar ôl y gêm, dy ddydgu, bod y sgôr fod ddim yn adlu wyrch i y gêm. A mi oedd hi'n falch iawn o'r performiad a bertawau er y sgôr. Oedd oedd o chi gallu dweud hefo i emosiwn hi yn y cyfweliad o ddim o'r brydfrydig am y gêm, o ddim prawd o'r merched a ma, bertawau yn adeiladu hefyd. Felly gawn ni weld sydd eis nhw fewn i'r tymor nesaf yn erbyn y tîm yda fel gerdydd. Ia, ond mae yna ddigonydd o gampa wedi bod yn mynd ymlaen dros yr wythnos a heddiw, dros deigen o gampa, ond cair dydd sy'n wedi ennill tarian varsity a dyma y tarian yn cael eu cyflwyno i gair dydd yma'n hyn, achos nhw sy'n wedi ennill y mwyaf bwyntia yn yr holl gampa dros yr wythnos a heddiw, felly nhw sy'n wedi ddigon. ta ferched, achos siw ond dwi'n gwybod ti wedi gweithio i gair dydd, ti wedi gweithio fawr bertawe, mae ti wedi cael blas o'r or ddwy ochr yn do, ond mae hefyd just yn nwrnod ac achlytu'r gwych i'r ddau i brif ysgol. Ie, mae ddim yn allwch chi'r wys i'r chwaraewyr sy'n chwarae yn y chwaraeon, dros 4 de chwaraeon yn chwarae trwy gynnal wrthnos, ond i'r stiwdant sy'n dod mas mae'n ennill i supporto ei myfarwyr ei ffrindiau ac cael nhw dywarnod gwych allan yn Abertawe wedi diodol Abertawe neu yn byw yn cael ddydd. So mae'n dywarnod, ges i dywarnod arbennig o dda pan o fi yn myfarwyr ond hefyd gweithio i drwy prifysgol, mae'n briliant ac gorffeniad arbennig o dda i'r season, mae pob chwaraewyr wedi cael. Ac i flwyddyn y brif ysgwr, wrth gwrs. Reit amser i chi eich dwi'n mynd yn ôl i'r pwynt sylwebu, achos mae'r ail hanner ar i ffordd nôl, a ni at y wain.
Well, the Cardiff Snake Charmers are bringing the place down over on the far side in front of their home supporters. The Swansea Sirens have already torn it up. And there is a lot of love in the room here at Cardiff Arms Park. It's a full show. This is the climax of the Welsh Varsity. Cardiff have already lifted the trophy. But it all comes down to this. This draws the curtain down. And at the moment, it is advantage Cardiff. But what an occasion. Students having fun. The stands jam-packed here at the Cardiff Arms Park, which has been great to see. Cardiff Rugby have filled the stadium this year and they've lit it up with wins against the Stormers and more. It's been the home of the Welsh women, massively improved. They sold it out against England. They've had brilliant wins against Ireland and Scotland and they go against Italy this weekend. But right now, all of our concentration is on this. The Cardiff University Rangers thoroughly enjoying their time but Ren Gregory and Swansea University looking for one last push to end this season a season where there's been lots to celebrate big victories over their other great rivals Cardiff Met a big rebuild when most of the players who got them to back Super Rugby have departed for pastures new now it's time for the new generation but before the second half, let's hear from Helen. Yeah, uh, captain Abertawa Ben Gregory. Ben, what was said in that change room at the break? Because um, it's a close score line. You can still come back into this one. Look, I just think uh, we weren't good enough. I think Carter threw everything at us. We uh, we're only seven 0 down. Uh, so it's a massive 40 minutes now, and uh, I think we're ready for it. It is indeed. I'll let you get out there. Thank you, Dale. Well, he better get out there because Cardiff are about to kick off. Cam Scott will get us underway in the second half. Craig Evans nearly ready, just the one score in it. Greg Ramage from short range. Cam Scott added the extras. Enjoy the second half, everyone. It's underway. Shuan is back with us as well for the second half of this Welsh Varsity. You were down there mixing it with the cheerleaders. It's all going off again. Yeah, there's hell of an atmosphere down there and the crowd were going mad and I could barely hear anyone around me. But, you know, that's exactly what it's about. Music. This event, this day, it's about everyone having a good time and getting behind um, everyone who's performing on the day. Dav Land kicks clear. Ben Gregory has managed to get his scrum cap on. And get back to it, as has Ethan Phillips, and he finds Quillam Evans. Evans tries to go round, gets into the 22. Brilliant from Quillam Evans. Try saving tackle, but doesn't save the try for long because Luke Pollock's there on the outside. And Cardiff are over in the first minute of the second half. What work by Quillam there. Outstanding change of pace into in, in space, but that acceleration also, Jan. For a back rower as well, he's got some pace in him, but obviously the man who's always there is Pollock. He's always in the centre of Cardiff's attack. This is a, a great tip at the line, but a great change of pace. You know, Swansea standing off there, watching the ball, <coughs> watching the man, not the ball. Look at Pollock here. Here he comes, and there he is. Obviously communicating on his way in, and what an offload. Well, once again... Yeah, great offload. The Cardiff captain scores, and it was great to see that angle there. Him timing his run, yeah. taking that chance, wondering what he was going to have to do. Was it going to be the clear out? Or was it going to be the offload? But he's timed it to perfection, and that is a massive try and a lightning start for Cardiff. Yeah, and that's exactly what you've got to do. You know, people watching today, there's no point overrunning things. So you could see the contact was being made. He treaded his feet. He bowed himself time and he made that decision over when to accelerate onto the ball at, at the right time. And uh, a great finish there by Pollock. But he's in the mix of everything positive that happens for Cardiff. It's a great tip there on the game line. He is some player, Gwilym Evans, isn't he? Involved with Cardiff and, as we said, made his Wales under-20s debut. Played against Italy and France, both of them off the bench. And now Cardiff 12, Swansea nil. And just as Ben Gregory was talking so confidently about how Swansea 
we're going to get into this second half then now they're chasing the game they've got the breeze though we can see from the ar's flag but they just need some opportunities some points yeah definitely you know and Connor have started with a bang with fire in their bellies and uh, some real big uh, you know dominance there but swansea wouldn't have wanted to start like that but you know they've got to wipe that away now and and, and carry on with their game plan oh that's a great take from Pollock if he drops that it's probably a yellow card instead it's in his hands and Rory Case is offside yeah Cardiff seem to have a lot more attacking threats than, than Swansea I don't know if Swansea seem a bit static Cardiff a very punchy attack in the line running running good lines and uh, having a real good Good, good attack on, on, on Swansea's defence. They don't feel like they have the same spark for Swansea at the moment. Um, so you know they need to they need to get into this game, otherwise it could be a tough day at the office for them. It's been all Cardiff in these opening four minutes. They've added the five points and again oh, Chapman finds a good dart that Swansea managed to disrupt it, but then he goes as far as Di Jones. Just that low centre of gravity to get that little bump and win the collision, as Ben Chapman does as well. And Scott, an inside ball, goes on his own in the end. Scott Jones is Roberts. I thought there was a bit of time off. Not sure if it was an HIA, but great to see him back on the pitch. Chapman out of the back, Pollock, and now. Oh, this lovely from Cardiff. Luke Bray, the ball from Greg Ramage, and Bray into the 22. Round the corner, Adam Williams. It is all Cardiff in this Welsh varsity. And with that, Swansea force a knock on. And Max Marshall with a very important turnover. Yeah, huge turnover there. Cardiff are on the counter, aren't they? They're on they're on the rampage essentially, you know they're they're looking really clinical when, when they've got the ball in hand. They're looking really sharp, and uh, Swansea have just managed to grab the ball, ball back there from, from an error. You know, I feel like Swansea need to settle into this game and get a bit of composure and get a little bit of momentum and be able to play a little bit because I think territory and possession this game so far has been all Cardiff. Been really impressed Brooks. by the two flankers, Ramage and Evans, and the way they've Five. been in those sort of 15 meter channels Six. and they've really linked play and always been dangerous. Yeah, definitely. They've been a huge target threat, putting Cardiff on, on the front foot. Swansea kicking off the second receiver, but kicking it straight to Felix Gilbert, who's going to run it back with some vim and vigor. Back, 12, back, 12, thank you. Oh, another good carry from Greg Ramage. Gregory has to make a tackle. <laughs> but Swansea doing well at the counter rack, doing well to disrupt. Yeah, it's a great line there by, by Ramage. Really good line over the game line again. But oh, that lands off. Yes, he is. Oh, the inside ball has that been just about rescued by Rory Case. Not sure he meant to kick that, but managed to get a toe on it before it hit the deck. Ryan Ben Gregory as well because he's got a very heavily taped up left foot and he'll be hoping to get as many minutes out of that as he can Pollock more positive meters from the Northern Irishman Use it! and he'll be absolutely delighted to get that try after that first half whatever it was I, I nearly said mistake but I think you've just got to credit the, uh, the defense there haven't you yeah, you know, he, he did everything right, yeah. essentially. He ran the right line. He, he, he roared the tackle. He got over the line pretty much. But Will Barrack will have managed to get his feet in there somehow. But do you know what? He's an outstanding player and he's in, in the heart of everything uh, Cardiff does. And obviously, he's an outstanding leader as well. The way he galvanizes the boys, the way he, he leads from example from the front in his actions. But. Um, Hearing him speak as well, he speaks exceptionally well. So a great captain for, for Cardiff rugby as well. Another one. Up, he's, so he's Northern Irish, Hands as we say, Hands but up. he's in the final year of his physiotherapy degree. I wonder if we might see him in the Welsh Premiership next season. Certainly think that he's good enough. You and John's. Not on the ball. Oh, Harry Williams. Be 
out of this next attack, but he was very alert to doing his job there and finding his way to that breakdown. Kai Davis. Now lands and Williams takes it to the line and just fizzes that to Marshall. Release! As those flat passes very well. First man. Oh, the right. counter from Jamie Hoyes might have turned this over. Big, powerful man, Jamie Hoyes. Yes. Oh, Cardiff have just about got that ball back. Louis Fletcher. Lands and Roderick nearly gets around the outside again. Gary Williams finds himself at the breakdown. I think those natural scrum half instincts of being the first man there. Yeah, following Leave the it. ball. It's Johns who's in at first receiver. Swansea just struggling with the game line a little bit, but spending good time on the ball. And then Kean Abraham trying to step through. Williams wants a bit of territory, and that's a smart kick. Yeah, that was absolutely the right option. Just felt like Swansea weren't really going anywhere. Looked a little bit one dimensional, one up carries, not really many options off, off their shape at the moment. Uh, but that's a great option by, by Harry there to go for the grubber to the corner, try and impose some pressure on Cardiff in, in, in their 22 because you know they went a number of phases but hadn't really gone anywhere for the last two or three minutes in that zone. Old school grubber kick as well. Love yeah. to see him. Yeah. Very difficult to defend. Especially on this 3G, you know, the bounce up of that ball is, is a lot greater than it is on grass. You see the height on that rubber after it's mid contact, it, it gets in the air. So it's a great attacking option actually on, the on a surface like this. Bring it in, one meter. Ten minutes of the second half gone in the shadow of the Principality Stadium here at Arms Park. Swansea making some changes. Chris Thompson coming on for Joe Greaves in the second row shortly oh big penalty for Swansea oh they've gone quickly or have they to have land always looking to try something to have land yeah he's very alert to be fair to have land you know he's always on the ball alert to land. he did look too fast there not sure if he was on the mark but you know, something that cost Swansea the first half was their discipline, and now maybe Cardiff's discipline is creeping in a little bit. Giving Swansea some rewards. Well, there is Chris Thompson. Got some good minutes this season as well as Buck Super Rugby for Swansea RFC. Big and physical. Oh, oh, as Swansea have gone. Quite narrow at times, and they've looked for big carriers. Then Chris Thompson will definitely be one of those. He's coming off the bench into the engine room time on. for the second time in two years in the varsity. Darren Lloyd will be desperate to make something happen here. That's a good start. Lloyd arrives, tucks that ball in. Up, up, six. Still moving here six, for Swansea, five, but it's been collapsed by Henry Greg Ramage. Green. So Tav Land has got the chance to try and make some magic. John's out of the back. Crossfield kick, looking for Morgan. Felix Gilbert's there. And we'll go back for the penalty. Six, hands on the floor, more collapse. Yeah, I'm sure uh, Swansea will go back to the corner here, another driving ball. You know, it's a danger zone here for Cardiff. Under pressure somewhat, a good line out by, by Swansea, but couldn't really gain momentum, but... You know, you can't put your hands on the floor in a driving mall. Your hands have got to be up off the floor, and that's why they've been penalised. You've got to you've got to control your own body weight in the driving mall as well as obviously other areas of the game. But um, you can't use the floor to your advantage in this area. Garen Lloyd, again, it's uncontested. They go to the back to Peter Vickers. And look to go to work. Plenty of bodies there for Cardiff, and the ball squirted out the side. What happened there? We've well, had to find out. This is not a mark on. Our authority just came out. I think it there's a scrum. Scrum. Swansea ball at the scrum. Interesting. I'm not sure what happened there, but from what I could understand from the referee's communication was that the ball just fell out and Cardiff kicked it. 
So no knock on, Cardiff kicked it out, went dead, Swansea scrum. Yeah, couldn't see from over here, but um, yeah, that's a bit of an error by the Cardiff player there. Fall on it, don't just kick it. Yeah. And that's why it's important to have good ARs, because that's Five. a great spot over on the far side. Set, stay here. And a third great opportunity for Swansea. Two lineouts now a scrum. Dav Land. Johns wants it. Johns tackled by Di Jones. Swansea two meters short. Now the big men go to work. Great carry over the line. Is it down? It looks down from here. Oh well, Craig Evans disagrees. But we had a different view to the referee. Yeah, our angle from up here, the camera angle that we had, that looked like it might have been grounded. Well, there's no TMO. And I think Cardiff University are very lucky that there's no TMO. Yeah. Instead, it's a dropout 22, and the score remains Cardiff 12, Swansea 0. But Kai Davis takes it into contact again. Will Swansea be able to respond to that disappointment? Harry Williams! Oh, gets it off, float away, but... Greg Ramage is there, but it's ripped back with Swansea. Vickers, 13 minutes of the second half gone. Brad Roderick. Release! Oh, Davland. Can't wait to have another look at that because it looked like with the right to place, yeah. that ball is down. Yeah, agreed. Williams. Flat. Snappy work to Rory Case. Oh, what a shot that is. Just Willem Evans is not going anywhere. Williams to the line again, and Max Marshall. 22, just in your shot there. Williams, three options, and Garin Lloyd's the one he chooses. Williams again, and Peter Vickers. A couple of carries from him. George Shaw called off it. Now Louis Fletcher. Good period this for Swansea. The inside ball's good, and Roderick with a great fend. Gets rid of George Shaw, who chases back well. That's Chris Thompson. Goes on his own, Thompson. Someone's going to need to get there, otherwise Evans is going to be on this. Gregory's there. Gregory to his opposite number, Greg Ramage. Max Marshall. This much better from Swansea. Starting to build. Davlan goes. Oh, he's brought down a metre short. But Swansea knocking on the door. They're over this time. They will. change what the defence do and that slight look by, by the party players gives him that space to win too but an outstanding finish by, by Kai there really good finish and uh, to be honest Swansea deserved that try after being, being held up well referee said held up but looked like our angle day that it was down so really good finish there Kai Davis we talked about his importance for Swansea University it's powerful and for those bigger players you know 6-3, 6-4 it's not always the easiest to burrow over from short range like that but he's done very well and he has dragged Swansea back into this game 12-7 with the Williams conversion and Rory Case takes the restart Peter Vickers carries forward making the tackle. Davland with the box kick. Oh, great battle in the air for it. Cian Morgan and Felix Gilbert, and Morgan's won it. Harry Williams wants to put that over Cam Scott, and does. Kian Abraham giving chase. Great chase hey. from Abraham. And Rory Case, back up to the 22, goes Swansea. That's Brad Roderick in a scrum half. Louis Fletcher, it's just a new energy 
about this green and white. 17 minutes of the second half gone. Ewan Johns pumps the legs back into the 22. And Vickers offers himself. Roll on! There. And Dad Land works it up the short side. Oh, back. In goes Barraclough. Good footwork from him. Danny Jones having to make a good tackle, but Swansea straight back on the front foot. And Brad Roderick tackled by Pollock. He does well to slow the man down. Lloyd. This high energy, high octane stuff from Swansea forwards, emptying the lungs. Nice little tip there that allows Chris Thompson to go. Lovely offload from Thompson. Swansea back within three meters through Clyde Davis. Now Vickers, he tries to offer the eyes as well, like Clyde Davis did before. These feel like massive moments in this game. Massive moments indeed. Lost it out. Gregory. Jamie Hoyes makes a good tackle. Swansea still coming. They've got an advantage here. I don't think it was ever on to be grounded. Swansea think they've scored. They're going to be bitterly disappointed. Yeah. I don't know what the crowd is watching here, but uh, yeah, no. Much better play from Swansea. Forwards being dominant. Obviously getting high reward from those pick and goes there. Uh, Cardiff need to be careful here. We see Craig Evans speaking to Pollock, the captain. Lots of penalties in this zone against Cardiff. And Swansea going for the corner with three points on offer and 20 minutes on the clock. These boys just want to play. They want to play, you know, and uh, probably the message at half time is what they express them and, and, and finish the game making sure that you, you've expressed yourselves and, you, and you've done yourself proud, you know, and to be honest, momentum has flipped, that right. first five minutes of that of the second half was all Cardiff, the last 10, 15 minutes have been all Swansea. Happy Perk, Perky happy. Steve. Callum Dodds all coming right. on, we're in 23 for Swansea, plays for Sandavri, the Drovers in the Perky Welsh Premiership, off, yeah. he's in the Wales 20 squad, didn't get capped in the under 26 nations, on. but was part of the build-up. Swansea go to the middle, Garen Lloyd finds his man and the crowd find their voices, a deafening noise in Cardiff Arms Park and they are cheering this green and white army towards the line to level the game, make no mistake, Swansea are in the ascendancy, 12 unanswered points. Down. Words should be had because scrum hard scoring driving ball tries is bang out of order. The there he is latching on to Avlan, but Harry Williams is in there, Callum Dodds in there, and he's only just on the pitch. Kean Abraham's in there, and it is Davlan who gets it down, and he gets what is a very crude try, but a very memorable one. Absolutely. Every player, apart from the fast side winger, was on in, in that driving ball. But great execution of line out, and you know what? If it works, if you get the players in there and attack the scrum after the back one more, why not? Harry Williams to give Cardiff the lead. Slices it wide, and with this game in the balance after an hour, let's hear from him. Yeah, momentum, a possession at um, a territory on in the game now, you know, the boys really um it will turn up for uh I'll hand now, but just ridey kind of now. Um cara and the game now. Yeah, arrows in the game, then uh symbolistic, they'll come down seriously. Well, originally on the team sheet, but of course, Scarlet's come calling, so it gives the opportunity for Bob Bray. 
and the response from going 12 nil down Ball's by out. Swansea has Six. been exemplary. I think Hugh Gus and team will be very pleased. Yeah, very pleased. You know, with, with a comeback like this and 12 all now, we have a game on our hands, 19 minutes to play. I've got a feeling this is going to go to the wire. It's going to go to the wire. It's been Cardiff, it's been Swansea, it's been, been a bit of everything. As you are, White, use it! For Dai Jones. Stay! He needs to add his particular brand of composure to this game, but that box kick isn't necessarily a way of doing it, because Swansea Release. have won the aerial battle again. And they are just re-energised, this Swansea team. Here's Harry Williams. Try scorer Kai Davis. Great shot there by Cam Scott, but the offload's good. Rugby league style out of the tackle. And then Chris Thompson drives forward. Davaland. OK, roll away now! It's a lot of ball in playtime, isn't it? The condition on these boys. Harry Williams gets his hot step in feet moving. And land. 17 minutes to go. Feels like a long time since we've looked right and Cardiff have had any territory. Definitely, the momentum of oh, 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 the territory oh, oh, okay. game has definitely flipped and a great nudge there again by Harry Williams. Great grubber, long grubber, down into the 22. Really good vision there and, and a great kick from Harry Williams. Momentum has absolutely flipped the last 15 minutes. And Swansea seem to have a little bit more go forward. You know, good carries. I think Chris Thompson has made a difference to that Swansea pack. He's ball carried very well to them. Got over the game line, been a threat in that area. You see out there now, boys cramping up. Look, that just shows how much ball in play we've had. Well, they're making changes here. But well, we're going to see the disallowed try here. And let's see if Swansea really were hard done by. They're over the line there. I think when the weight's added, uh, ball's down, isn't it? Oh, it's a tough one. He, Craig, before she was the other side of the ruck there, I think there's maybe a little bit of the ball that touches the line. But to be fair, Cardiff did have their hands around that area. They did have their hands around that area. I think with a TMO, they're getting a Swansea try there, but I'm sure there are many Cardiff University supporters who are watching around the world who will vehemently disagree with me and that's why we love this game yeah. and we do love this game because we're 63 minutes in it's Cardiff University 12 Swansea University 12 and Stay, this is as close back, 19, back. as one of these has been for many many Music. years I mean Swansea won it 2013 last year but it never felt as tense as this Harry Williams with a decisive try we've had a 6-9 here at the Arms Park before Run. But that was a long time ago, back in 2009. I think some of these boys have been in primary school there. It's Callum Todd, find some space on the outside. Callum Todd still going. Ben Chapman, brilliant cover tackle from the hooker to stop Todd. Front rowers popping up on the edge to save tries. Callum Todd did very well then. Good three. Looked dangerous out there. Well, we wondered if those extra games, the quarter-final and the semi-final that Cardiff played, might mean they're a little bit leggy. Swansea with the extra weeks to regenerate. And then have seen Cardiff, then have seen Cardiff in the quarter-final beating Durham and thinking, oh, that could be us, and it still could be. Great work from Ethan Phillips. Oh. But he's just offside. I think that's Sorry. coming from the AR oh. then, four offside. Big call here for Swansea, I know what I'd be doing, Dave. <laughs> straight off. pointed straight to the posts. Well, they've not led at any point in this Welsh varsity. Let's watch him here in the blue scrum cap. He's not very conspicuous, is he? No. He's rushed out of the line. He's rushed out of the line. He can't be far, though. He might have been a huge amount of distance offside. Couldn't quite see from that angle. And you know, we've got a great team of, of three uh, this yeah, evening yeah. that have mm. actually worked exceptionally well oh, together. Yeah. Oh, you got to the Top games deserve top officials. And Ethan Phillips, there, course, yeah. he's one of the players. It's his last game for Cardiff. Oh, they have gone for the posts. 
big moment. Huge moment. And I, what I do know is we've got a nail bite in 15 minutes on our hands where anything can happen in this game. The two games that they've played this season have finished 29 27 and 22 19. shows how evenly matched and how close these sides are and also when you add that rivalry to it as well it's and another this, level and this crowd who have found their voices as Harry Williams remains composed and Swansea lead for the first time in this Welsh varsity it's part of 12 2015 yeah Swansea have scored more 15 points in the last 15 minutes you know momentum I've spoken about it has completely built flip you know, now pressure's on Cardiff, and this is the first time for Cardiff really to have that pressure on them this game. Cardiff now, with 13 minutes to rescue this fixture. Just a word on Di Jones, because he's left the field to be replaced by Mikel Davis. Saying goodbye to Cardiff University, a two-term club chairman, he's had a great game today. And he's worked so hard on his game and I think we'll all agree he's been great tonight and great all season so congratulations to him on a great journey in red there's Mikkel Davis quite a diminutive figure Davis but he'll add a different dynamic and there he is having a little snipe there oh now winning the penalty and is this kickable for Cardiff yeah be interesting to see what Cardiff do here that conversation that's going on you can see the skipper amongst it. Oh, watch, they're going straight for the corner. Oh, Luke brave. Pollock is having none of it. Brave call. Bold call. Confident in their set piece, though, obviously. Really confident in their set piece and the success that they've had from, from, from that area of this game. Well, the line has been going well. Ben Chapman still out there. Great engine. Ed Thompson's on on the loose head side for Cardiff. Nine. The first player in the Buck Super Rugby era for Cardiff University to make 50 appearances. And he'll be saying goodbye after this game as well. Club legend. Will he have the chance to make an impact? Stay two meters out. This is a big chance. Ben Chapman finds his man. Clean as a whistle and Cardiff go to work. There is Ed Thompson in there. Billy Moxie comes in as well. He's been a replacement in the back row. Keep it up. Off the leg. Off the leg. And then Mikel Davis with his hands on it, but he might not get the chance because Ben Chapman still going. Okay, release now. And now it goes to ground. Step. Six meters back short. Foot, back foot. Oscar van der Venter. Oh my goodness, Luke Pollock! Great through! It's try number two for the captain! The seas parted and Luke Pollock cruised through. What a moment from the skipper and Cardiff wrestled back the lead. Yeah, who else would it be running that line apart from Luke Pollock? Outstanding angle. You know, I thought actually Swansea did well to stop the driving more, but you can't just stop there. Um, look at the Swansea players here, but you know, Pollock's line here is outstanding. He spots the gap. I don't even know if he gets touched with this line. You know, that's great identification. Do really well to hold this mall. And then mall goes down. Mall goes down. And look at this angle. Angles in and then squares up. But he doesn't even get touched by a Swansea player. <laughs> yeah, Chris Davis and Winnip Cavar with the only rugby pow, but we're used to seeing you in uh, Osprey's gear on rugby pow, but with Cardiff today, Chris. Uh, how much uh, does that try mean uh, for this team? How are the nerves right now? Because you're back in the game. Yeah, huge. It's just been a clear, well, been a clear couple of momentum swings. The, the momentum was worse in the first half, the second half has been all swans. They've come hard at us. Uh, yeah, yeah, you're right. We absolutely needed that right then. 
the nerves before then? Because it's still it's still a close game, so I'm, I'm sure uh, anything can happen on the pitch. Yeah, I'm nervous. I'm, not, I'm on edge here, to be honest. I don't know what's... Yeah, I'm feeling it. So I don't know how they're feeling, are they? But they're, they're managing the pressure far better than I am, clearly. Yeah, and the occasion of the crowd as well. It's a, it's a great game. Uh, thanks for your time, Gil. Pleasure. Thank you. Cheers. Well, I'm nervous up here, and I've got no horse in the race. It's a lovely kick. Oh, but then offside. Harry Williams just trying to spark something, but... Dan Roderick, who's come on to replace Dav Land. He was called off by the referee. Let's take a look at this now. It was Harry Williams there. Oh, he just had to get out of the way, didn't he? Oh, he just needed to hold his run a little bit there. You know, he... If he just stopped for a second and listened to that referee's call, it's a bit of a shame, that, really. Well, the lead has changed hands three times. It's gone from 12-0 to 15-12 to 19-15. That conversion important as well because it takes the lead beyond the Harry Williams penalty. Into the last ten minutes we go. Chapman still out there. Inside the pile. And the Cardiff line out has operated very well. Ethan Phillips there at the top. Shipped on by Cam Scott and more great work by Pollock. Pollock rampaging into the 22. Oh, the offload just evaded him. But this quick ball from Cardiff, and this could be trouble here for Kai Davis. Penalty advantage coming, but it could be even worse. Ben Chapman. Oh, and that double blast to the whistle usually only means one thing, and that one thing is a Kai Five, Davis no back on side. yellow card. Five, never back on side making a tackle. Yeah. And in fact, it's not Kai Davis at all, it's Peter Vickers. Peter Vickers never on side, and Swansea will end with 14. That's a huge blow, that is. To go down to 14 players with eight minutes left. It's a huge blow, huge blow. Well, let's have a look at Peter Vickers then, because I'm not sure he was involved at all, was he? Because it's Kai Davis there. Yeah. <laughs> it's fun. I've seen Kai Davis hobble off to the side of the field. He hobbled off to the this side of the field, but then obviously referee looked. Uh, to be fair, Craig, you're holding his hand, but I made a mistake here and made the right the right call there. But uh, Kai had gone off to the wing, so when he looked up, the only player that looked similar to Kai you could see was uh, Peter Vickers. And Peter, I was like, what have I done? <laughs> Well, it was a good bit of gamesmanship from Kai Davis to try and get out of the referee's eye line. But what about this for a statement of intent from Cardiff? Four points up, Swansea down to 14. Massive opportunity to extend the lead by going for the posts. But with Swansea and number eight down, they go into the scrum. Five, set, steady! Yeah, and it comes from Mikel Davis and George Shaw. Leave it wide, leave. Oh, it's really good work from Dan Roderick. Oscar Deventer, little through ball to Luke Pollock. And then Davis. Ben Chapman. Oh, the offload, unbelievable. Alex Ashton wants one more. Oh, that was sensational. But Swansea win the turnover, and it is absolutely massive. Massive, massive, massive turnover there. Massive turnover there. Great offload, but good work from Swansea. I didn't quite understand that call from uh, from Cardiff. That was a guaranteed three points score for posts. That was filth from Chapman, wasn't it? <laughs> Absolutely. It <filth>. was filth. <laughs> Swansea will be relieved there. Yeah. You know, if Cardiff go over there, they've got to score twice. But you know, if I was Cardiff and I had that penalty in the middle of the sticks. What have I been going for the three points to make Swansea have to score and convert? Maybe. And you can take some time out of the clock as well. You know, there's probably one opportunity left in this game, really. Yeah. Got Isaac Young. Another Wales under 20. Right. 
Von Kapp came off the bench against Ireland, represented Wales at the under 18s as well. Finds this man there. Six minutes to go for Swansea, who did so well to battle their way back into this game to take the lead to that Harry Williams penalty. Big bump there from Isaac Young on Ben Chapman, who's still out there. Might see 80 minutes from Hooker for Chapman. Peter Vickers with the carry. Thought he was wrongly in the sin bin a couple of minutes ago. Yes! Dan Roderick. Luke Gray underneath that. Ooh, just loses his footing. Allows Callum Dodd to get there. Ball out! Ball is out! I think the key for Cardiff now is to be in possession of the ball, and they are through Willem Evans. Now Luke Pollock on a hat trick. Kicks that in behind. Oh, it's a great kick as well. Backwards. Turning Swansea, turning back. Kean Abraham, who's Use it. over there on the right wing now. Leave it! Five minutes to go. Stop, this stop, has been stop, a fabulous stop. game. Thank you. Yeah, lads. I knew we'd go to the wire. <laughs> been a great game of rugby, a game of two halves almost. Mm. Mikhail Davis on the wraparound, Davis. He finds Cam Scott, Scott, uh, Oscar van der Venter, then Ridian Williams, little forward pass. The crowd haven't heard it, they'll get their cheer. But it will be no try. And they'll go back to the scrum. Have another look at it, see how forward it is. Oh, look, good engagement on the line. This one, yes. yeah, that's the oh. one. <laughs> that's the one. Forward pass by the substitute for, for, for Cardiff. Yeah, man of the match, Luke Pollock, outstanding. He's been involved in everything positive about Cardiff. Um, his lines of running, getting over for, for that try recently now. He's been, you know, amongst everything that's positive, but also as he led to the run the cover start for Cardiff as well. And well deserved, Luke Wallen, man of the match. Well, it's his final game in the Cardiff University jersey, and they will miss him as a player and as a clubman. He is the man of the match. We'll be hearing from him post match. But with this one in the balance, will his team be victorious? There's still five minutes of this game to go. Five! And Dan Roderick set. is going to look to set this Swansea back line off. Remember, there a man down in the scrum as well. Harry Williams thinks he's seen a gap, and Luke Pollock makes the tackle. Of course he does. And there he is. Oh, is he a little bit high there? Yes, he is. Just that arm slipping up. Oh, Brad Roderick thinks he's seen a gap. Swansea need to not panic because there's still time left here. Maybe going to touch might have been a more sensible option, but the ball's still in play. And they're feeling fit and strong. Isaac Young oh, has knocked that on, Isaac Young. Leave it, leave it, leave it. Michael Davis. Ethan Phillips. Side entry there. I go back to the scrub. Yeah, I think you're right, Dave. You know, Swansea don't need to panic. There's five minutes on the clock. It's happening and going from halfway. Long, long way to go. We know driving more has given them reward. What do we look to have gone to a different part of their game then? Rather than now, Cardiff got possession. So I'm sure Swansea Swans will look at that back and be like, especially being down with 14 Six. players. You know, their legs are now heavy, they've only got 14 players on the park. Set-piece option might have been a better play for them to go to. Time running out for Swansea. Cardiff Stay still fine. have just over three minutes to manage, and George Shaw drops it on the toe. Cardiff playing in the right areas. Mikkel Davis giving chase. Twenty-two, and they've got their hands on the ball. 
Home Fred Scott. Harry Williams is going to kick this back to Cardiff, though. Inside the final three minutes, still just a one score game. Not really seen a kicking battle throughout, have we? Both teams have looked to run it. Holloway. Big clear out and a kick over the top by Mikael Davis. A great kick as well. Oh, this could see it. Ben Chapman can't quite gather it. Oh, and Dan Roderick is there to rescue. Well, if that sits in the bread basket, it is game, set and match. Yeah, it was a great kick and a great foot race. They're still nail biting staff. Four points in it. Two minutes to play. Look at this. 80, uh, 78 minutes in. And you've got a hooker leading the kick chase. Yeah. A, a starting hooker leading the kick chase. You know, that is hell of a shift. Stop, hell of a shift by Ben Chapman. His legs must be dead. <laughs> into so they're still going. Into the last two minutes we go. Just a reminder that our watch is pretty close, but we're not perfectly linked in with the referee's watch. So there could be a shade yes. more or a shade less than that ticking clock Five. in the top left of your screens. Swansea a lot closer to their own line than they'd like penalty you can't lean on a break on a play the night don't go quickly this really time another <laughs> pad yeah definitely not in your 22 Arnon Flowers there Greg Ramage there as well another one leaving the field for the final time for Cardiff University he was Rampant for the 60 or so minutes that he was on. Yeah, yeah definitely rampant. He was everywhere, offered himself as a ball carrier, disrupted everything. And he might end up being your doctor at some point as well, because he's a final year medic sticking around <laughs> in South Wales. So best of luck to him with that. Oh, not straight. And that could yeah. and maybe should be the end of the game. Swans will be disappointed with that. Cardiff hugely relieved. Execution of that line out, not straight, outside arm, nowhere near straight. See the disappointment of the hooker's face there. Isaac Young. Well, our clock ticking towards 80 minutes. Alan Flowers still can't get a read on him. Honestly, Press. never play him at poker. I stand by it. Fine. I know Alan Flowers well. He coached me for Set. some time. Hold it. Uh, when Steady I played for the Ospreys a few years ago. Steady uh, it. Yeah, you're right. Hell of a poker face. That is it. Cam Scott <laughs> sends it towards the Cardiff crowd. Two tries from the captain. A killer line. It had to be. Cardiff were under the pump. Swansea were in the ascendancy. But as those reactions will tell you, tonight the Welsh varsity is red. Oh, I don't know there's a bit of a fight up there, then, Shoppy. <laughs> um, yeah, it is. And, you know, well deserved from Cardiff. First half, they were outstanding. They were all over Swansea. They dominated the game. But i got to be honest, Swansea probably won that second half battle, especially that 20 minute period. Then the yellow card obviously cost Swansea, cost Swansea massively. But that could have gone either way. Both teams are ex exceptionally well today. Cardiff 19, Swansea 15. Fabulous game. An epic advert for this level of rugby. And this was the big moment of the match. Bottom right of your screen there, Luke Pollock waiting with intent. His timing for his run for a first try was perfect, but this, absolutely exceptional. Swansea lined up in defence, but he cut that line for the second time in the match, but this time it yielded the seven points that sealed the victory for Cardiff. Yeah, he was exceptional today. Outstanding performance by Pollock in more than one way of the game. So, you know, well-deserved man of the match. And 
fit in that he had the try of the match as well. Cardiff 19, Swansea 15. Stick with us for post-match reaction. The ecstasy of Cardiff, the agony of Swansea. We'll be going pitch side to Hellhead shortly, and of course, bringing you the trophy lift. You see how disappointed the boys are there. You know, there's a lot of build up to this game, and uh, it's a yeah, one of the best. Cymru, Heb, Shomi, or Bishford. They're going to be a jack, say, Danny, Dichra. Um, it's an only Dichra, I will record the upper tower. It seems to be the costly. I was with us through all down your game, Jack. I'm really ready to get a kind of video. Yeah, so they're tipping a roid at a car. The Paul Claude Diabarta was different on all men of the way and a real hunter. And we did a rolly Cardin scorey. I'll kai snow there. The momentum of Paul Beth could have a bit of a double on all men of scorey. So I kai say in that and Paul Claude Cardin on all men of the way. Rudy, I kai kai snow there. Yeah, be all the Gohanias that they have there. Do we do all that? But how many back who can give me a dead discipline? Have we the Cardin Bellen and the two others? Jack, they see there was Luke Pollock, Captain Cardi, they were well setting a game. Been after the bullish shot, he had you well. Only by him, sorry, I think, guys. Yeah, so I think it's great. It's all the Arwen or Blan, he's Cardi, and when they're not in a high hand nerve now, we have Cardi, but now they're not doing themselves. We have the Emosod, Craig Bachum, and Roy Kaidi, no other top, so I'm going to go to the Arwen, but he's in a team. shows from the pictures there. We've got a lot of boys that fought ginger tonight. Big squad couldn't make a for them. And what does it say about your season? Because it was one all in the in the league. You it's bragging rights now. You you you've won uh, two out of three. What does that say about this team? It just shows they've got character, but we'll take that because um, you know we've been on the wrong end of some of those results. So yes, we'll take that one so and enjoy it out for what it is. Yeah and what are the what are the celebration plans tonight now? I'll leave that to them. I'm not wrong. <laughs> right. Um, it's time uh, in my announcer and he roid er a tlus e gair did with Fantastic. Thank you. Celebrations. And for this group, some leaving, some staying, but they are together for the final time. They've achieved so much this season, and this was the 14th of 21 games that has been decided by less than a converted score. Luke Pollock, the player of the match, a huge smile as he receives the varsity trophy. Cardiff are the Kings. And they have worked as hard for this as they have for anything It's been a great year for a great group of players. Yeah, definitely. You nailed it on the head there, Jim. The amount of work these boys athletes do good to put in, put in a performance like that today is exceptional alongside their studies. What a game of rugby. Well deserved win by Cardiff, and I'm sure they'll have a great celebration this evening. Well, if you've watched university rugby for the 
the first time this evening. Welcome to the club. It's like this every week, I promise you. But the celebrations and the memories aren't like this every week. This is special. And Lucas, have you on am game? I can't breathe it. Sit all the Ashton Arakina. Oh, it's a fiam. Hannah can tell him and I'm spelling well. Well, I know I'm in down well. Yeah, game. Got it down well. Test match now. Game last night. So I just gave inches really hard. And I'm for the city mass. I've got killed the well. With the Valley Key boys, who are in Torva, Arkenoga, the Rido, the Hio Abertaway, Gulio Hedi. Oh, I'm great, honestly. I'm a Todd and Elaura and St. Helens, Paul Wolfnoss, and fantastic. Eddie only brought you a few quick little out of car, so I agree with you. And yeah, yeah, great to have some more fair play, no? Yeah, well, and look, he's a heavy, but he's a plenty of Henod, I've let him do him with this, isn't Yeah. <laughs> 